for today's experiment it's something that i've been thinking about because i'm not a fan of the microwave oven i prefer to do my things in the traditional oven gas oven whenever you have the option between doing microwave or oven so i thought why not prepare a meal, one in the microwave, and one in the oven. So this will be microwave versus oven. Which one is better? I have some Hungry Man's Select Classic Fried Chicken. This will be my dinner for today. And I'll eat it, prepare it. Well, prepare it first, then eat it, and I will tell you which one is better. Because I am not a microwave fan, as I stated before. I only do a handful of things in the microwave, like warm up taco meat, um, melt butter, warm up soup I'll do, pop popcorn, um, warm up steak and gravy, um... I think that's about it. I, I won't use the microwave for hardly anything. It's actually going against everything that I believe in to, to prepare like a meal like this in the microwave. But I solemnly swear to tell the truth about the microwave. If I like something better than the oven, which I, in my opinion on this meal, that's going to be impossible. <laughs> For the chicken, I think it will be impossible, but I solemnly swear, cross my heart, I will tell the truth. I will not let my bias deter from the, uh, you know, the experiment. But anyways, I got the oven warming up downstairs because that one's going to take the longest. It does take a lot longer. I mean, I know you got to wait. Let's see. It says 45 minutes to cook it in the oven. So, I can understand that it, it is a time crunch compared to four and a half minutes on high. Four and a half minutes on high. Microwave on high for four and a half minutes. Oh my goodness. It is a lot faster, but the quality, I think, suffers. Because when you're eating a Hungry Man Select... You want quality. But anyways, let's crack this bad boy open. Because I got to get it ready to go in the oven. And it's going to be good food. Let's see. Oh. Mm. I did not hurt my hand doing this, by the way. I know you're thinking that. All right. We got the one that's going to go in the oven. Let's see. Remove film from chicken and brownie. Cut slit and film over corn. Okay. Corn. Okay. Remove the film from the brownie. Like so, there is a slit in the corn, and there's a big hole there, so my bad. But anyhow, I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay, I got it in the oven. It is baking. Now I got to get the microwave going. I will note that this calls for a 1,100 watt microwave that it was prepared in, and my microwave is 1,250. 
So my microwave is a little over for this, but not by much. And uh, I'm trying to get them done, you know, just about the same time to give them both their fair share of fair hands, I guess. So it would be like, you know, they're both hot and prepared the way that the instruction says. But anyhow, so we're going to have to, you know, you got to figure in that minor uh, detail that the watts of my microwave is a little bit higher. Anyhow, let's get this guy open. Let's get it ready to go in the microwave. This one you got to, I believe it was, well, let's see, cut, slit, and over the corn and potatoes. You let it go for four and a half minutes, and then you remove the brownie, stir the potatoes, uh, replace the film, I guess, over the potatoes, then, uh, Return to the microwave oven for three minutes. Okay, so. Slit. Slit. Uh, another one for good measure. Oh, we got corn in the brownie. brownie on my bench made knife here okay. so there we are there's a slit in the potatoes thought there was oh, now there is for sure and you know there's a bigger well it's no okay there's my original but there's a slit and then a slit here we're ready to go four and a half minutes remove the brownie stir the potatoes and put the film back does it say stir the corn no just the potatoes okay i'm gonna put this in okay the brownie has been removed and i gotta stir the corn and potatoes so I'm going to do that now. On this side, the side that still has the brownie, this is the oven. This side without the brownie, that is the microwave. I have to say, just based on appearance alone, the oven looks far superior to me. <laughs> I mean, the chicken on this side doesn't look so hot. But I'll eat it and give you my honest opinion. This side, uh, okay. Well, anyways, let's get down to it. I, you got to let it stand for a little bit before you start eating or you're going to burn your mouth. This is the brownie from the, uh, the microwave. Kind of looked like there was something on this, but it's a clean towel, I promise. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Frosty root beer. Some good stuff. Ah. Let's remove the film. The mashed potatoes does something weird once you cook them. I didn't expect it to be as bad from the microwave because I have had this several times, but it kind of has like a, a weird uh, texture to it whenever they do that. But I'll stir the microwave up. I'm not really a fan of instant potatoes. In my household, we just 
don't do instant potatoes as often. It's I was brought up on stirring the oven potatoes. I guess I kind of cross contaminated there, but oh well. What are you gonna do? My household, we always had real, you know, boil them and all that and mash them. All right. I'll try the potatoes first on this side. Probably not much of a difference. Tastes about like the oven. Okay, now the oven. Well, maybe a slight difference. These seem like they're a little thicker in a sense. The oven does seem creamier. I didn't think there would be much of a difference on that. Okay, now the corn. Stir the corn up. Now there's a little piece of chicken here in my corn, a little breading. I'll just put that there. We don't, we, we want pure corn here. We don't want, you know, anything uh, muddy in the waters. It's corn. It's, it's good. I mean, I can eat it. I'm not tasting much of a difference, if any at all. Mm. I can't detect no difference. Maybe your palate's different than mine, but it tastes about the same to me. Okay, brownie maybe, before we get to the main event. I'm telling you, this chicken does not look good to me. This one's not, I probably would have left it in there a little bit longer, but I was trying to keep by the instructions. But anyways, microwave brownie. It is actually done, I'm surprised it got it done so quick. Good. All right. Oven brownie. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so much crunchier like a like brownies, you know. Okay, it looks a lot better too. Look. Not a huge difference. Well, there is a big difference between the brownie because this it's definitely more crunchier than the brownie that was in the um, microwave oven. They're both good. I'll probably eat them both. <laughs> no problem there. Frosty, always good. Ah. <sighs> Go with the leg, I guess. I mean, all right. All right, it's edible.
It's pretty tough. I'm not hating it. I don't kind of like my stuff overcooked. Got a trash can over there, so you don't have to see all these bones. I hate it. It was all right. I mean, let's compare it to the oven, the oven leg. Oh, that was much better. Uh, it tastes a lot better. I mean, you do save a lot more time with the microwave, but this one's tasting and looks a lot better to me. I'd say, yeah, the uh, oven is definitely, definitely better tasting to me. I'm surprised. I didn't, I didn't totally hate the microwave, though. All right, what do we got here? I believe this is a thigh. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. That's not looking good. I mean, I like my stuff. Chris, let's take a look at this guy. See, he kind of looks a lot better on the underside on the oven. I'll take a bite of this and a bite of that. And I think I'll wrap this thing up. But I appreciate you uh, joining me for dinner. Ah. Oh, okay. Let's go. Like, uh, I'll take it right there. Go on the underside. All right, let's do it. Very tough. Like it's just uneven. It's like tough and then just blit. It's not terrible. I definitely can eat it. I, I, I just from the appearance, it wasn't looking too hot to me. All right, let's try the oven one. I'll do. I'll kind of bite in the same area. Huh. Much more juicier and crispy on the outside. All right, the underside. See, that looks good to me. The other one didn't look good, but it wasn't that bad. No comparison on that bite. That was far superior to the microwave. <laughs> far superior. Well, there you have it. Some things up. No difference in the corn. A little creamier on the oven. The brownie, it's, you know, not as, like, crisp. I mean, you may get a little bit of a hint of a burn on the brownie over here. Maybe I cooked it a little more than what I should have. But I kind of tend to like things a little burnt. The chicken thigh here on the microwave not terrible but definitely better here 
hands down the winner the oven but not saying the uh, microwave was that bad. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Alrighty. Thank you for watching.